My name is Brent Dunn, Executive Director of the Missouri State University Foundation, and welcome what is going to be uh, a very historic day on our campus. Uh, it was almost uh, a year ago that the Foundation unveiled the, uh, the public portion of the Onward Upward campaign, and that campaign is to raise $250 million uh, through 2022, and this campaign uh, impacts student scholarships, uh, faculty support, program support, and capital support. So we made a lot of progress uh, since we unveiled the campaign on, August, on October 26th of last year, but uh, we still have lots of work to do. But today we're announcing a very special gift that will impact the capital support uh, for the university. And the gift will have a, a major impact on the Macquarie College of Health and Human Services and this structure behind me. So here to make the announcement, please welcome President of the University, President Cliff Smart. Good, good afternoon everyone. Indeed, today is a special day. Special day in particular for the Macquarie College of Health and Human Services because this marks the actual beginning of the renovation of what is a very important building on campus. As of uh, fall uh, th uh, this year, 4,389 students study in the Macquarie College. So many of those students, and many are here today, uh, take classes and study in this building but this building is 75 years old and much of the space is outdated. Uh, must have, frankly, much of the space is inadequate. And so today begins the change in this building and it is due to the generosity of Ann Campeter. Ann, would you stand and let everybody recognize you? Folks, projects like this simply cannot occur without private support. And Anne has been the catalyst for this project, frankly, which has been um, a, a goal, a desire, a need for the 10 years that I've been president and, and decades before that. And so it's, it is indeed a happy day and thank you on behalf of every faculty member, every staff member, every student studying and working in this college it it will make a tremendous difference for each of them and for the university as a whole as we move forward the result of the renovation will be more than a naming more than attractive new space it will result in better teaching and better learning and better research and dean mark smith will talk more about that uh, in a moment. As for now, phase one of the rebirth of this building, now called the Camp Eater Science Hall, is underway. Thank you very much, and let's look at some of the pictures. Well, Dr. Mark Smith is a Dean of the Macquarie College of Health and Human Services, who's just completed his first year. Uh, even prior to his first day, uh, we actually started the conversations with Ann and him and leaders in that college to talk about the possibilities, what the renovation could look like. And I know uh, Dr. Smith is very pleased and anxious now to get the renovations going on the Ann Campeter Health Sciences Hall. So, Dr. Smith. Still my thunder. Well, welcome everyone, um, and you'd kind of like to know what all this is about, and so first and foremost, thank you for the generous donation and the gift that's going to help us start and kickstart the, the professional building. So just to get a little bit back, and I think uh, Brent talked about this, I've been here about 14 months, and before I started on the job, I had a, the privilege of meeting with Anne. Um, and what Anne brings to this is what Missouri State is all about. And that's that sense of family, that sense of community. It was one of the reasons that 
I decided to move and come to this university and this college. Um, and as one of the first alumni I got to meet, Anne epitomized that very thing. Um, and in her generous donation, is gonna help us continue to build that sense of family and community through a space, yes, but through what that means. And what that means for the health services and the health sciences and our college is our ability to work together, is our ability to solve problems in healthcare, not just for the college, not just for the university, but the community. And so a lot of what you're gonna see, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about now before we, we also give you the guest speaker, which is one of our students who's gonna talk about the impact too. She didn't know I was gonna say guest speaker, but she is too. Is, is this notion that we are more than a space, we are more than our content, uh, we are more than people, we are a group, and this on a brisk but beautiful day um, says that. So what does this look like? Where, is this, where are we starting? So we're starting with a couple of places. Um, first and foremost, um, as most of you know, um, we've worked really hard as a university and we're working really hard as a college for that notion of recruitment, retention, making a place where students feel comfortable and are safe. Um, so one of the things that you'll see in the diagram on the right hand side is when you walk into a professional building, we are working on creating a state of the art, brand new student success center, which will be the hub for students in and around our college. So when you walk in, you're gonna have a one-stop shop, if you will, for where we can support students. Right now, we've got advisors everywhere, we've got different spaces. It's hard and professional for those of you that work here. It's taken me a year to figure out how to even get back to some of the offices in the spaces. But we want a space where students can feel at home, where they can feel safe. Um, and that's one of the, the first parts of this renovation is a brand new state-of-the-art advising center. But we're more than just that too. We are clinics. We are out in the community. Um, and as you go down the first professional, uh, the building in professional, you're gonna reach the, the speech sciences and the, the hearing clinic. Um, and when you get to that clinic, um, what you didn't know and what wasn't said was Anne was a, a graduate of that program. And, is a, and has, part of this donation is to help us reshape that outwardly facing connection to the community. And so that when a member of the community needs help in that clinic, it's gonna be a state of the art area that they can come visit and feel warm and, and, and comfortable to get their hearing tested, to get, things, to get things done and ready to go. So that's the second part. The third part and the biggest one is with, with all the changes, with all of the things that have happened in the last six months, um, the sense of community as I started with is, ha has been tremendous. We could have easily just shut down the building, gone online, we haven't. And I just would like to emphasize it because many of you here have done this. The MSU Care Clinic has stayed open the entire time. The Speech Language Clinic opened as soon as we could open it so we could serve the community um, to provide support for hearing aids. We were doing curbside pickup, curbside drop, meeting, meeting clients. Um, we've, maintain telehealth in the PT clinic. We've maintained telehealth wherever possible with students in, in our CSD department working to help. Um, and so that's what this is also about, in that sense of community. So one of the things that we need to do, and one of the things we are gonna do, and, and is, is look at the building, so where we can create, and where we can continue to create spaces for students to feel at home. So for those of you know, the fourth floor in the building is it's kind of a little bare and barren right now based on COVID, we've had to restrict some places, but that is gonna be redesigned into a student space where between classes or even during classes, they can work, they can, can communicate, they can <laughs> Zoom at this point in time since that's apparently what we're doing with everybody Zooming all time. Um, so that's another part of this first phase of the renovation. Additionally, um, and as Cliff had said and had read and said, the building is in need of some support. I'll leave it at that, right? One of the things that we're also looking at was we've created one collaborative space. We have McCreary being renovated now and, and in the next couple of months, that will be open and I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised with the new instructional spaces and, and office spaces we have there too. Um, 
But we're going to be doing some renovation to the old banquet room at the top. We're going to be looking to create some new collaborative spaces, some state of the art where we can interact, where we can work and, and continue modifying our instructional strategies so that we can be ahead of the times, not, not trying to catch up all the time. And that's what professional is doing. So that's phase one. Um, to be fair, and, and I'll say this, there's a lot of things in professional that need to be done. There's a lot. And we're going to continue to work on doing that. Um, that's the, the drive behind where we started. And as I said, I met Anne a year ago before actually we met and had um, a tour of the building before it even started. And it's amazing that when you take all of the things that are happening um, with looking at enrollment, looking at the, the, the general binaries that we're creating in society right now, that we're here to celebrate a significant gift because they believe in us, and Anne believes in us, and Anne believes in what we do here, and the McQuarries believe in what we do here, and the O'Reillys believed in what we do here, and, and we should believe in what we do here, because as, as, as was already said, we had about 4,500, 4,000 4, students. We increased our enrollment as a college this year. Um, not a lot of places can say that period, but we did. And we have a lot of things to do. So moving forward, what does this mean? It means that we've got to continue to work together as a college. It means that we've got to continue to support our students. We've got to continue to support our clinics. And we've got to continue to be able to work with our community. And this donation, this renovation, and this phase one will allow us to do that. So with that, um, I'm thanking Anne, absolutely. I'm also going to thank all of you here. Because it isn't me that does that, it isn't Cliff that does that, it's everyone that's here today that does that. All right? we, we get to do this, we get to stand up, I get to, I get to meet Anne, I get to, to be the face at times, but that's, that's not what's exciting. What's exciting is we have a group, and I know I can see BMS, I can see CSD, I can see nursing, I know we've got dietetics and nutrition here. Um, and I'm going to miss somebody, but I can. that's just a quick scan, that are here together as a college. And, and that's what makes me proud. That's what this first year has been. We could have caved in, but we haven't. Um, so again, last time, and before I said the real key speaker is, is our student, who um, is going to be way more eloquent than me, no pressure, um, and, and is going to benefit directly from this. And, and hopefully she'll talk of her experience here and a little bit about where that goes. But again, last time, thank you, Anne. Thank all of you. Thank you, Cliff, for helping us with this. And everybody that's behind the scenes, this, is, this doesn't just happen. This takes a long, a lot of time. So um, with that, I will pass you on to Bree. Um, so Bree, I'm going to transfer you to, to give us the student perspective on the, the renovations. And, um, and she didn't quite know all of this. So these are the, the type of things that she gets to see and react to on the spot. So please give her a little bit. So Bree, come on up. Hello, can we hear? Am I close enough? Okay. So, hi, I am Bree Still. I am a senior here, um, majoring in speech language pathology. So, I'll be graduating in the spring. Um, and I hope to attend graduate school here, fingers crossed. So, I am so excited to see these new renovations and all these updates um, being brought to professional building because I have been here um, going on my three years now. And yes, I love this building so much. This is home. This is my home away from home. But as mentioned earlier, it can can use a little bit of updating but we've all bared through it and we still love this no matter what color the walls are what the floors look like it is our home and we love it so dearly so I think these um, renovations are going to help us students and even our professors and staff just be that much more successful we're gonna have a new welcoming environment and it's just gonna be I feel like it's gonna be full of love and just pure just wholesome goodness. When we walk in, you're gonna see that um, Student Success Center, which I am beyond excited for because I already know that's gonna be a designated spot for students to go to if they're stressed out about midterms, haha, -ha, those are coming up, yay, or <laughs> finals, or graduating grad school, or applying for grad school, or if you're a new freshman here and just college is so overwhelming, you're gonna know as soon as you walk in those doors, you can go right there to that center and then you're gonna get the help, you're gonna get the reassurance, and you're you're going to be successful just from utilizing that um, part right there. So that is amazing. 
And along with that, um, like I said, graduating from grad school and all the grad students here, and even undergrad, we do all utilize the clinic here. Um, so you do observation hours, or you actually go in and get your hands-on experience that you need to be successful if, with your degree. And just um, renovating that and getting a little bit more bump up to that clinic is gonna be amazing, not only for our students and our staff and everybody, but also for the clients who come in and actually use that clinic that we're trying to help. So I think that's gonna to be amazing and um, like we said the new little like study hangout spots I am a sucker for little study hangout spots because when I'm in my room back at home I'm on my bed and I am not paying attention I'm not focusing so I like to be in professional or go to the library so I think it's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna have such a fun time trying to figure out all the new little spots that are gonna be just for us students like nobody else we can kick anybody else out professors no you guys got your own offices please stay out of our little areas okay Okay, this is what we need to use to pass your classes and be successful. So, in group projects, just hanging out with your classmates, go over that test you guys just aced, or go over that lecture that you got lost after three words in. It happens, trust me, I know personally. Um, but just doing that, and it's going to be amazing. So, I want to thank Anne and your colleagues and your friends with you from the bottom of my heart. and all of the undergraduate and graduate students um, involved with this um, college. Thank you so much. Um, your love for this college, being an alumni and this program and everything is just unbelievable and it is shining so much bright through right now and it is unbelievable and we cannot express our gratitude or our thanks enough. No words can. Um, obviously, I'm at a loss of words right now, but no words can express. Um, our love and appreciation of that right now. So thank you so much. We are all excited for this new opportunity for professional building. Thank you. Thanks, Bree. Uh, and I know you're excited about this. Uh, and obviously the students are uh, the winners. So as a kid, I remember going to the doctor in, in the old professional building. I remember getting our prescriptions at the, the drugstore. So that building it was built in 1947. The university purchased it in uh, 1985. And now we look forward to the dedication of the Ann Campeter Health Sciences Hall. A um, lot of work to do now. I uh, want to thank several people. Uh, Jackie Coons, Wendy Ferguson, Carl Schmidt in our Office of Development. Uh, thanks to our university architect, Mark Wheeler. Project Manager Michael Martis, uh, Vice President Matt Morris, our Provost, Dr. Frank Einhelling, uh, the Hoodrich Architects, uh, they are the ones designing this. Uh, Jim Lohmeyer and Larry Park are here. If you, where are you guys? There you are. Thank you so much to Hoodrich. Uh, no, a lot of work to do. So the schedule for this uh, is bidding for this project probably early next year. And construction on phase one will begin later on in spring. But now uh, the work begins. And again, thank you to Ann Campeter uh, for making this a very special day. Thank you, Ann, for your dedication to Missouri State and most importantly, making a big difference in the lives of students in the health professions. You're taking uh, the Macquarie College of Health and Human Services onward and upward. A very historic day. I uh, invite you to come up and take a look at the renderings. And Anne, thank you so much. And thank you all for being here this afternoon. And go Bears.